Alright, so welcome back and in this video we are going to be going over how to connect our Prisma backend to a database and we're going to be using Postgres here and if you want to check out this article it kind of runs you through it but we're going to do it also so you'll uh, see how it works. Alright, let's get into it. So the first thing we got to do here is actually create our database and we are going to do that using um, PG admin. Now you can do this kind of in the terminal um, or however you want to do it, but I find just a GUI a little bit uh, easier. So go ahead and uh, download Postgres, get that all set up, and then come back here either with PG Admin or in your terminal or uh, however else you might be doing it. All right, so we're going to come in here and for our database, we're going to create a new database. And we are going to call this uh, Twitter clone. And I'm the owner here and we're not going to have a password or anything. So let's just go ahead and save that. And it go ahead, uh, went ahead and created that. And all our information will be in our schemas here once we do that. But right now, I think that's all we got to do. All right, so let's get this connected here. So let's come into our server file here. Um, and we have this uh, Prisma folder here. So we want to come in here and we can create a new file and call that .env and this is going to be where we store our, our environmental variables. Okay, and then if we come into our schema.prisma, you can see we have S, uh, SQLite hooked up here. Now, we don't want that because we want to use Postgres. So we're going to come over to here and we can actually just copy this uh, from this article here or you can just uh, copy what I write and then come over to here and paste that in and this is how we're going to set up our Postgres. So we're going to have our environmental variable so we can copy that database URL and it's our provider is going to be Postgres and it's going to be our database. So let's come over and save that boom and then we'll come back over here and we're going to paste this in. Now what we want to do is uh, give this our string, our connection string. So let's go, that is equal to, open up some co uh, quotes rather, Postgres, uh, GRESQL, and then we're gonna have a colon slash slash, the, the user, and we're gonna say at local host, and that's gonna be 5432, and then slash, Twitter dash clone. So we don't have a, uh, a password or anything here. So for us, that's fine. Oh, make sure you uh, close out your quotes there. So let's go through this. We're going to be using Postgres as our database. Uh, the user is me there. This is going to be our port that we're on. And this is going to be the name of our database. Now, if you have a password or something, you're going to need to add that too. That's all in that article if you want to check it out. So that's basically all the setup we need to connect our database. Now there's a, a few um, things we have to run here to uh, get things going. So the first thing we're gonna do is we wanna migrate our database, but before that we want to create our, uh, generate our schema here. So we can cd into our server, make sure you're in the server folder and you're gonna run npx uh, prisma and it's gonna be generate and you can see here that uh, that was successful. So that's great. And then what we wanna do, there's a couple other commands we can run to automatically um, migrate our uh, database. So one of them is gonna be MPX Prisma uh, migrate. And we're gonna say save dash dash experimental because it's still in the experimental stages, but seems to be working pretty good. And then it's going to ask you to name your migration. So we'll just say first and boom, that worked perfectly. So we have uh, our database, we have our model um, for post, we have our model for user. So that seems to be working good. And then we can just copy that over. And if we want to actually push it up, which is we uh, what we do want to do, we're going to say MPX Prisma migrate up experimental. And hopefully this works too. And that looks like it was also successful here. So now we want to check and make sure that worked and uh, everything's connected. So if I come to my uh, PG admin here and I uh, maybe refresh here, 
And then let's look into our schema and come down to our, where? To our tables. And you can see that we have a post table and a user table. And this shows uh, also our migration. So that is great. Now we are connected to a database. So pretty easy, pretty quick, and uh, pretty cool in my opinion. So that is good. Um, that's going to be it for this video. And in the next one, we're going to start creating our, uh, sorry, in the next one, we're going to start connecting our front end to uh, our back end with a Apollo client. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you.